the the magic who we're moving on to now are really tough because they have I look I I didn't make an argument for any rookie it would just 100% be Jalen Suggs I think he's going to be fantastic you could close your eyes throw a dart at this roster and make a case for whoever it lands on I think it's going to end up being RJ Hampton I really like him as a as a lead ish guard with with some size nice feel for the game kind of can slow things down but he can also be I, I'll phrase it this way he can be both the calm and the storm on offense. I'm wondering if they can get him enough looks off ball to kind of test out his set shooting more. I think he'll be disruptive on defense for them in certain lineups that they run at the one, two, three. Like I would really love to see a Suggs, Fultz, RJ Hampton, just one, two, three trio, and maybe round that out with if Isaac is healthy and then whoever you want to put, I might put Isaac at the five in that situation, to be honest with you. You could throw a dart at anyone. I, I was most intrigued by RJ Hampton long-term as a prospect on this team than anyone else. Jalen Suggs is obviously the answer now, but he is still second for me. And I know that maybe Cole Anthony's microwave scoring deserves some mention there. And I know there'll be a lot of people still tantalized by Mark Elfotes and, and Jonathan Isaac is there too. But unless you think Jonathan Isaac, once he's healthy, is going to break out on offense, there's nothing else maybe. he can do on defense. He's already like a system unto himself. I think you could make valid cases for Isaac, for Cole Anthony, for – uh chumo kiki or wendell carter jr even if you're really high on them by, because you could be oh kiki's ball skills last year right, right. they really um, impressed me rj hampton was tough for me not to pick but i'm going with marco fultz just because maybe it's just because i want to believe still but before he tore his acl which is a complicating factor here <laughs> in that small sample you know he already was showing more of a willingness to take deep jumpers like he, two three pointers per game was a big step in the right direction he only just turned 23. Like, this is a number one pick whose career hasn't been derailed because he doesn't belong, but because he had the yips, the shoulder injuries, whatever the case may be. If he can get past that, which he increasingly has shown he might be able to, there's no reason he can't develop into a star, albeit in delayed fashion. So I feel like that breakout could happen at any time based on the small strides that we've seen that were interrupted by a, a major injury, but also a major injury where a lot of the time we see guys come back as better shooters because that's all they can really work on for a while. So there is a reasonable realistic outcome where he becomes the best player on this team. Wow. That is Mark Helfold's optimism to the up team's degree it is it 100 is i don't know how likely it is i don't know if he's the likeliest breakout candidate but i think the magnitude of the potential breakout is the most significant wow um i did not see that one coming i would have been inclined to go more with wendell carter jr even Mo Bamba before him wendell carter jr is probably well not probably he is a serious option here too uh i don't know what the addition of robin lopez says about how short of a leash that he or Mobamba might have but there was a report, I think from, I can't remember where I saw it, but that they were thinking about offering Wendell Carter Jr. a four-year $70 million extension, which uh, actually surprised me. I think that actually came from a friend of the pod, Morton Stig Jensen, who co-hosts the, mm. the NBA pod with uh, Bryant of Porek. I don't have that much faith in Wendell Carter Jr. There is a lot more skill to explore with him, though. And he shot a little bit, a few more threes when he went to Orlando. We'll see if they continue to explore, uh, expand that part of his game. I think he can be a really good passer. And he is mobile on the defensive end, too. I would pick him or RJ Hans as my breakout player. They, we could look back on this Orlando Magic season, and they could have like three or four dudes who legitimately broke out. Yep, 100% agreed. 